YouTube, man, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, Nana the Soul, Nana the Chosen One, Nana the Glow. You feel me? Back with another video. Oh shoot, I just hit the, I just hit y'all boys under 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 window, man. You feel me? My fault, my fault, my fault, bros. How y'all doing down below, man? Let me know. Let me know how y'all doing, my supporters, man. We have gained a lot more new subscribers. I just want to say, shout out to you. I just want to say, I appreciate you for clicking that button. The most high led you to my channel. It ain't by no mistake. It ain't no mistake y'all are watching me right now. This is all divine. This is all purposeful. God has a plan for us, bro. As chosen ones, God has a plan for us. All glory to the most high God. You feel me? Bros, you must understand we have to endure on this journey. We must endure. We must endure. We must endure. John 1, 12. You feel me? I'm going to put a Bible verse in here. John 1, 12 says that if we endure, bros, if we endure these trials and these tribulations, God will bless you. And that's straight facts, because when you keep your faith on the or attention and you're trusting the process and you're enduring, you feel me, these, these tri trials, these tribulations, these flat lines, whatever, you feel me, all of these things going on on your SR journey, you endure it, you're going to come out blessed. You're going to come out, God going to put that crown in your head, bros. <clears throat> I'm telling y'all, man, me opening up that Bible, me reading the Bible, getting into the word now is really changing my life. Like y'all are just, you're, you're looking at a whole new person. Like, just me, just talking-wise, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. I'm just different. Like, semen retention has really changed me for the better. Like, it really connected me with the most high. I want you to understand what this journey is about. It is about connection with God. It is about you changing your life. It is about you becoming the best version of yourself. Because this connection is just truly through the roof. It's it's truly got to the point where when I don't crack open that Bible, when I don't read the word, when I don't pray, I don't feel like my day is complete. I don't feel like I have done something that is serving God. Of course, this purpose, this this these videos, but I just I just want to get into the word. I just want that word to nourish me. I just want that word to to lift me up. This is how I'm starting to feel now when I open up that word. I love it now, bruh. Hey, man, I suggest y'all highly do it. Some of y'all might be like, oh, my gosh, I don't believe in that. But, bros, I'm just going to suggest y'all to crack open that Bible. Just read some scriptures. Read the word. Y'all are going to be full of energy. You're just going to be full of bliss. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel some goosebumps sometimes when you're reading it because it's facts. It's facts. You feel me? It's just facts. Proverbs 31.3. Do not give your strength unto a woman. Is that not facts? Is that not facts? Do not. God said literally. Do not give your strength unto a woman or to anything that's going to destroy you as a king. So that, that, that includes the hub. That includes you just releasing your seed by touching yourself or fornication without marriage. That is literally in the Bible. It is a sin. God says it right there in Proverbs 31, 3. If you think I'm capping, go open up the Bible and read it yourself. Because I'm starting to just, just understand that what, what God wants us to do, these commandments... It is facts. It is truly, truly, truly facts, bro. I love this journey, man. It ain't nothing but just, you feel me, connecting with the most high God by praying every single day. It is very powerful. It is very powerful for y'all to endure on this journey. You must endure. You must endure because you're going to come out blessed. You're going to come out blessed, bros. Trust me. I've been so I've been through so many trials and tribulations. Man, bro, <laughs> and and then now I'm starting to get blessed. I'm starting to, you see, my my my, what is it? How do you what do you say? You hear me? My my trees, my plants, starting to sprout. The seeds I planted is starting to sprout. It's really insane, bro. Is what God's going to do in your life if you keep faith and you're enduring these trials. I'm telling y'all, man, trust the process on this journey. Really, really trust the process. It's going to change your life. But I just really wanted to talk about you for me. There's a, like there's so many topics I can make on semen retention, but when I make a video, I really be touching on a lot of things so y'all can really get the the gist and the, the just the gems. I want y'all to get gems when you watch me. I want you to watch me and, and leave with some knowledge, leave with some inspiration to live that righteous life. I just want you to leave with something being learned. You learned something. I want you to watch me and learn something. You feel me? I want you to watch me and feel great. This is why. I keep my energy in, on point. I keep my energy in check. You feel me? I, I pray to the Father so my energy can be in check so that he can speak through me through these vids so y'all can really feel the presence of the Most High. 
Because I know y'all be feeling the presence. I know y'all be feeling the energy, man. Hey, submit your life to God, bros. But me saying all that, I just wanted to make a video about this testosterone boost we're getting on semen retention. Bro, it's crazy. You hit the gym on semen retention, <laughs> you're going to see a lot of gains. Like, you're truly going to see a lot more gains. You, you're going to lose a lot more fat because the higher your testosterone, the less fat you're going to have. So let's say you're bullying the gym every single day. You might have two days or one day of off, off, off day, you feel me, a rest day or whatever, but you're bullying the gym and you're on semen retention. Bro, you're going to see gains faster than a man relapsing. And that's 100% facts. Our testosterone boosts like what? 125% on semen retention? Let me know if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section. But our testosterone goes through the roof on semen retention. This is why your voice gets deeper. Your hair starts to get thicker. Your, your hair starts to get more blacker. You from you start to get facial hair. Your hair just starts to darken up. Your real color of your hair is going to come out. Your eyebrows start to get thicker. Your voice starts to get deep. You start to stand masculine. You start to be confident. Bros, that is testosterone. This is our male hormone. And if you're releasing all the time, you're releasing testosterone. You wonder why you don't have pheromones. You wonder why you don't get attraction. You wonder why people don't respect you. Because you're releasing the glow. It's really, it's really simple. You're releasing the glow so people can't respect you because you don't have the glow. They don't sense no higher power about you. They don't sense that you respect yourself because you keep releasing the glow. You keep releasing the seed, brothers. We got to understand this seed is going to keep you masculine. The seed is going to give you that connection with the most high, the father. And it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful to feel like a man. It's so beautiful to go to the gym and bully the gym, bully the reps. If you're at home working out, it feels great to bully the reps. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me your boy not out of soul is lying. Does, not, does it not feel good to feel like a man finally? You're, you're, you've taken control of yourself. You've taken control of your power. You're not, be, you're not going out here just busting nuts. For me disobeying the commandments by, 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 by committing adultery, by committing fornication. Bros, no. You're actually retaining your seed. So you have no choice but to honor God. You have no choice. God has no choice to bless you, but, but to bless you. Because you are honoring the commandments. One of the commandments God says we should honor. You're honoring the commandment. So what do you think God's going to do? He's going to see you're honoring the seed. He's going to start to bless you with this testosterone boost. You go to the gym and you're feeling powerful. You're feeling energized. That's the most high blessing you with energy because you have endured the pain. You have endured the test. You have endured the trial. John 1, 12. You have endured the trial. So, so you start to get more energy. This is the most high giving you energy. You ain't just getting energy by yourself. Y'all got to stop relying on your own strength. You got to rely on the most high God strength. And then you're going to start to see real benefits. Trust me. I've started to rely on the most high strength. And when I go to the gym now, I have the most energy I've ever had in my life. I bully the reps. I bully the gym. Y'all going that workout video is coming soon. Don't worry, bros. I'm just getting started. I'm just getting beginning with beginning. This is just the beginning of my channel where it's about to go. Y'all just need to take your time and be patient. You need to be patient. Everything is a process. Everything comes in divine timing. I know when y'all need the right videos because God is speaking through me. God is just putting the knowledge within me so I can come on camera and give y'all the real. You must understand your testosterone is going to go through the roof on semen retention. You don't got to worry about you not feeling like bullying the gym on semen retention if you're putting in the work, getting into that word, praying to Father God every day. You're not going to worry about you not wanting to bully the gym. Now, some of y'all might say, Nana, what about flat lines? None of that matters when you have Christ in your life. I'm telling y'all, bro, when you're going through a flat line, whatever, so-called, you, you can still put in work. It is your mindset that stops you from putting in work on flat lines. Flat lines. You feel me? The reason why I'm doing this is because... I don't even know where that word came from. I'm not even going to lie. I just started to say it because the SR community was saying it. I'm just being real. I didn't create that word. I just started to say it because that's what people call it, like having a dope, uh, like a, like a low, like a low, uh, low period on your semen retention streak. Flat lines. You feel me? But y'all got to understand it's really mental on semen retention. If you think you're on a flat line and you're feeling, you're feeling just low, it's mental. You can get out of that. You can break out of that mental bond. You feel me? That 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 breakage. You feel me? You can you can break out of that. You can break out of that, bro. 
and you can really put in the work even though you don't feel like it. It is mental. It is spiritual. It ain't physical. It's really mental. You can see, you can definitely tell yourself, okay, I'm in the flat line or whatever. I'm feeling low. It's just one of them days. Let me still pray to the Father so I can get up and really still put in work. If you're really dedicated to Seymour attention, you will do that. You will do that. I'm dedicated now, man. Like I've really given my life up to Christ. So it's like when I when I'm going through these low periods, I know what to do. Prayer, powerful. Fasting, powerful. Watching your diet, powerful. Y'all, some of y'all be like, Nana, what do you what do you recommend me to eat on semen retention? I recommend you to eat good food, nu nu nutritional food. Stop eating fast food. Stop eating junk food. It's not rocket science. This is semen retention. You shouldn't be eating bad in the first place. This is for your health in general. How you're going to be feeling? You feel me? Stop feeding the flesh more than you're feeding the spirit. Mmm, that's a gem. Stop feeding the flesh with so much food and feed your spirit with the word. Feed that, bros. Feed your spirit with, with things of God. Feed your spirit with things that are going to, you feel me, fulfill you. Not the flesh. Stop feeding your flesh. Stop feeding it. Stop giving it so much food, candy, junk. No, stop touching yourself. You're feeding the flesh. You must stop doing that, bros. The longer you feel me, the longer you keep feeding the flesh, you, you're, you're not gonna have that spiritual connection with God like you really want to. You're not gonna be feeling your potential on semen retention. I'm just keeping it a buck with y'all, man. This journey is greatness. Your testosterone is gonna go through the roof. When you hit the gym, man, look, you're gonna be feeling so high off of life. For real. Yeah. You're going to be feeling so high off of life, bros. You feel me? I just got distracted again, bro. It's, it's so weird how I get distracted when I'm trying to make bangers. But let's keep going, bros. You're going to be feeling high off of life. You're just going to be feeling good because your testosterone is rising every day. It's going up, 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 up because you're holding on to the seed. It's very, very powerful, man. You don't got to worry about getting attraction, not getting attraction. You're going to get attraction. You have testosterone. You have your male hormone within you, man. You're masculine. You're confident. You're walking down. You feel me? You're confident. You're just, your head is up, head held high. You're a man of God. You're confident, bros. Why don't you want that for yourselves, man? Just being, just being, just being powerful. Just being self-controlled. Having self-discipline. I will love I would love if I if I didn't know about semen retention, I was hearing these benefits. I would love to get on semen retention. But some men are just not ready to be strong men. Some men are not just ready to be men. They're still trying to be little boys. They're still trying to act like little kids fapping. Childish lust. You feel I'm gonna drop my phone. But childish lust. They want to keep touching themselves to the hub, destroying themselves as kings. They're going, they're going all against God's commandments. They're going not all of their commandments, but they're going against that commandment of you committing adultery, you just touching yourself for an occasion. This is not rocket science, man. It's really easy to understand when you see the principles, when you're adding two and two together. It's not hard to understand. It's not hard to understand. You just got to listen to what I'm saying. Let it resonate with your spirit. Let it soak into you, bros. And you're going to understand, okay, this dude is speaking facts. I must retain. Because when I hit the gym, it's going to be nothing but gains. You feel me? Nothing but gains. Nothing but just testosterone just getting higher. Just testosterone increasing. More masculinity for you because your testosterone is going higher. That's the best thing I will ever want, bros. I'm going to tell y'all that, man. That's the best thing I will ever want, brothers. You feel me? But yeah, on this journey, your testosterone is going to boost. It's going to boost. Trust and believe me. You don't got to worry about bullying the gym without no energy. No, if you're on semen retention, you're doing the right things. You're doing the right practices plus retention. Your testosterone is going to increase. You're going to get more facial hair. You're going to look masculine. Your face is going to be structured like just different. You're not going to have like a baby face. Now you're going to have like a masculine structured face, just a masculine structured posture. And you already know what that does to females. You already know what that does to people in general. They see confidence, they run to it. They see the glow, they run to it. They attracted to the glow. They cannot deny the fact that you are glowing. They cannot deny the fact that you are chosen and you have a purpose. You have greatness within you. People can sense that.
It's the seed, man. It's the seed God has put in us, man, bro. If we hold on to it, we're all going to be great. And, and, and it, it's just so real that I, I I just can't. You feel me? I, I, when I when I keep it a buck, some of y'all just don't listen. I can keep it. I can keep it the realest possible, but some of y'all just don't want to learn. Some of y'all just think I'm I'm just talking to talk. No. I want your life to change. I want to help you so you can draw closer to Father God and you can understand how I'm feeling within spiritually wise. I'm feeling great. This is just physical, man. I'm feeding my I'm feeding my spirit more than I'm feeding my flesh. So it makes me feel great. If you're feeding the flesh, you're not going to be feeling as great. Trust me, bro. You feel me? But expect an increase in testosterone and seamer attention. Expect it. Expect it. Expect it. Expect it. Your voice is going to get deeper. You feel me? You're going to be bullying the gym with no doubt. You feel me? Beard growth, hair growth, just more confidence. Bros, this is just, this is just, this is just amazing. Purpose driven. This is what men were supposed to do. Retain their seed. And st stop busting for lust. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to my content. I hope this video inspired you to do better. Always. You feel me? I'm a regular man just trying to better the world. Trust me. But I love y'all so much. And you know what to do. All the links y'all need going to be in the description down below. I'm out, bros.